I worry about people I care about leaving or dying. Here's how it looks so far. It's super disgusting. That blunt is finished. Tomato, 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 tomato. Yo, it's the head pat for me. It just cannot be real. In the name of Jesus. Get my hair all on the floor. A little bit trash every now and then. Like silk press. It's a lazy Susan. Filthy. But is that what you're saying, doctor? Ah! Yo. First of all, I gotta do AirPods for Chris. Was it Chris? Yeah, around Christmas, basically. Second of all, ooh, my hair's itchy. I have been taking it easy ever since the holiday. I'm healing my skin, so lots of Vaseline is peeling around my mouth. I've been taking it easy because I realized that I was going a lot. Even though I had vacation, when I came back, I had family here, and we were going, 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 as you saw. And I'm just like, whoa. So yesterday, I laid in the bed all day. I got my period. It was just very fitting for that. Worked from the bed in the morning and then just laid and was watching stuff. I realized that I didn't read this much this year as I needed to, wanted to, planned to. So that's going to change next year. Just getting off of social in the sense of consuming less of social and creating more and reading because... I got this crazy faith book. I got so many books. It's like, why do I have these? Is it decoration? Like, this is insane. This is insane. It's ridiculous. So that's that. But yeah, I'm just so grateful. I can't believe it's going to be a new year. It's odd to me. I've been writing down my new strategy for social, looking at things that worked and didn't work and figuring out what I'm going to do differently, what I want to bring to my YouTube channel, IG business all of that getting together my quickbooks which is important as a business owner if you are then you already know what it is <laughs> yeah okay but yeah oh i'm taking down the christmas tree right now i took down the christmas decorations i didn't do a lot i don't overkill on christmas decorations anyway and you know i had them up since the first of november so they've been up for two two months now it's enough usually when i put my stuff up later i like to leave it up later because i enjoy the whole spirit of it all but it's been up two months so now i'm taking it down after Christmas that's my new routine right now so I'm about to take the Christmas tree down lighting up my can lighting up lighting my candles the lighter that I had in the bathroom died so I got another one you know I have a lot of these lighters they're all over so I needed to get one more to finish lighting this candle which is right here I already have done cleaning I don't do yearly cleaning as a thing I've already been cleaning you know that I've already have the company come take stuff I've already been decluttering I just do that on a periodic basis I do not wait for something no way I'm not gonna wait for a certain date to do anything I'm gonna just do it I did have the cleaners come before actually on my birthday the cleaners came so they did all the cleaning which is great i do need to take this curtain down and wash it i need to wash these rugs in the bathroom i was just lighting this candle right here and this is a towel that's that's air drying and yo can you believe that i'm burning through my bath and body candles like how possible i mean i haven't finished all of them but yo <laughs> we making moves for them candles you know my sister got me a Fenty package but she got me large and it's I haven't even tried it on I can look at it and just see that it's going to be cinching the kid and I don't want to be cinched like that so I'm going to exchange it get an XL and you know I'll show you what it is it's really cute it's a two-piece situation I already cleared this area out I didn't do much for Christmas in this area anyway but I cleared it out so that it looks I just reset it back to where it was oh I love this Elemis candle that was sent to me it totally goes with the vibe like hi it's a one wick so it's good for this entryway it's not going to make the whole house smell like anything it's definitely an entryway situation Christmas tree gonna come down I really enjoyed it I love looking at it I've left it on 24 7 for two months so it's enough it's gonna come down and i've been cleaning i'm up my floor finally because i have family here you know all the footprints and stuff i just let it i just let it be just let it be sticky icky or whatever it was and now it's like okay now we are washing it so i did mop the floor here yesterday but i need to mop the hallway i'm waiting because there's laundry on the floor that is sorted out that needs to be washed so once that's off of the floor then I can go from there. The fence, part of our fence came down during a storm earlier, like in September-ish. Don't ask. Anyway, and I needed to go and talk to the neighbor to be like, yo, you see the fence? What's well, good? Let's split it. And I never made it over there, okay? So today, we went for a walk and I was like, oh yeah, this is the house. 
and the house looks deserted it makes so much sense because you would think that they would have come over here but you'd also think i would have went over there and i didn't the house looks deserted they must have died maybe they're looking to rent it i don't know i don't believe anyone is living there so now i'm like oh okay so we ain't gonna have any fence though like what's wrong with the fence you know what i mean like what's the deal? <laughs> so there's that but i keep on looking i can see it right here it looks it looks terrible it looks gross so i need to find someone to come and fix the fence i'm still burning my holiday candles because why not winter candy apple smells so good it doesn't it just smells sweet like sweet apple and i love it so i did buy more candles this is so bad i'm like my mom um, yes why do you always say winter candy apple that's winter candy apple muff i don't like winter candy apple because winter candy apple is super disgusting i actually went and bought more and i have not gone through my 18 that I bought, okay? But I'm like my mom in that, we're gonna, get a coaster please. We're gonna replenish when the stuff is going down. We're not going to wait until it's at zero. Hello? Comment below, let me know if you are like that. Or do you wait until whatever it is is at zero? Whether it's electrical, whether it's, you know, any any kind of household products, I'm not gonna wait until it's done. The minute I see it's going down a little bit, let's get that restock going. So, <laughs> I got six more candles, okay? It was $12.75. It wasn't $11 or $10.95. I get it. But it's not as bad as $15 or full price at $25. After all, we, we do buy Jackie Ina at $30, $32 when she's on sale. We do buy her at full price, okay? So to me, it's still a steal. You see what I'm saying? I am going to rest again today. We woke up late. I allowed myself to get up late. I said to myself, okay, fine, I'm going to take one day to rest. And then today I'm going to hit the ground running. My 4 a.m., my so-and-so, my hula hoo. Well, baby, it came around the block and I had a headache. And I was like, nope, we're going to just stay asleep again. So we stayed in until <laughs> we stayed in until 9.30, which is odd. It is on you. It's not unusual. It's very unusual. And that's what we did. Oh, so I got a late start. And I said, you know what? Looks like I'm going to just relax again today and I feel good about it. I feel good about it. I'm just taking the time that I need and there's no rush. Thank God. There isn't anything that's pressing. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'm going to need to take a nap and then I'm about to... I was going to film, but obviously I'm not going to. We're going to see because I also haven't worked out. I didn't work out yesterday. I did work out Wednesday. So ideally I would work out, but it's also 12 and I break my fast in the afternoon. And once I break my fast, I'm just like, work out why? <laughs> you know? So let me know if you have any resolutions or do you even call it resolutions, goals, just focuses of the year. I don't know if I told you here, but I know I post about it. My focus includes honoring my feelings, honoring my needs, making myself happy, not not requiring anyone else to do that, letting everyone else's addition to my happiness be a supplement and not a requirement, taking control of my behavior and my thoughts and actions and my joy. I am in control of that. I cannot put that on anybody else's shoulders but mine and making more time for things that are edifying to me. Can you hear this? My God. Making more time for things that edify me like, ooh, this is itchy now. See, this is day three, I'm itchy. <laughs> like reading, yo, it's the head pat for me. You gotta just bang yourself in the head a few times. Like reading, reading, uh, listening to podcasts. I have blown through a lot of podcasts. Oh, well, yeah, I don't have as many. I don't know. My podcast list has changed or it has gotten kind of dry. I don't know what happened, but I just started listening to Naked Marriage podcast and they do conferences. But anyway, just doing more things that edify me and not spending so much time of my day consuming content. It is what I do, but I find myself consuming a lot of content from other creators when I can be spending more time either creating my own content or reading a book, reading all these books that I have purchased. My Bible study, I told you that also. I'm not going to be doing the daily devotions with the book, but I do love them. So what is it? Trusting God day by day. I have enjoyed. Last year, I did something different too. This year, I'm going to do a Bible study. So you see that I've been working on the Elijah Bible study and I'm going to just make my way through so if I miss a day I don't feel like oh my god when I start back up again I gotta read Monday Tuesday Wednesday I didn't like that feeling so this is a Bible study it's so rich that really one page is enough and then you're like whoa okay this is a lot let me process this 
But I also was like missing the word. But I also decided, you know what though? I do like the Bible app, so I am going to do that each day. But with that, I don't feel like I need to go back to yesterday if I missed it, see? So I have been pulling that up and taking 10 minutes or so to watch the video, read the message of the day, the word that I do like. So I am going to be doing that on the Bible app. Just download that if you wanna do it. And then I'm doing the Trusting God Day by Day, excuse me, the Elijah Bible Study with Priscilla Shire, Shirer. Ah, Shirer. Lord, I can't say it. And then reading, you know, just getting back to the reading and focus and going forward from there. So that's what I'm trying to do for 2022. I'm, oh, I'm also writing down digitally what my goals or dreams are for every area of my life. Personal, marriage, me, business, and that's it. I don't know. I, I could do a general relationship one, but I don't. Okay, now that I've now that I've said it, I'll just do that. And I'm putting it in. I'm, I'm putting it in Google. Yeah, Google Keep is what I use a lot for a lot of things. So it's a sticky note that you can see on all your Apple devices, Google devices, Apple devices. Yeah, all your devices. Okay. And I'm gonna break it down those five categories. What my dreams are for those five categories, and then check in on them periodically to make sure that I'm actually doing what I said I wanted to do for all of those areas of my life. Food for thought for sure. These flowers have to go. I got flowers from Armani Beauty, which were so nice. Really love it. What are you talking about? Me? That's enough. I'm talking. I got flowers from Armani Beauty, and they're old. But they're so beautiful. I don't want to get them out of here. But you see this brown? It has rotted. It needs to go. Like how and why? This vase is so gorgeous. So now I have two lovely vases that I can recycle through when I have flowers. My books are going to come on Tuesday. That's January 6th. What? You've been... What? Not Siri writing down what I'm saying to y'all. You better stop. I never said I was sending a message. Stop it. Not her writing down everything I was saying. Yo, these AirPods are cool, man. I've never had AirPods before. I love it because it reads the messages to me. And then it also tells me what calendar. It tells me what, what's prompting up on my phone. It's so good. Oh, and I have a new iWatch, too. My husband got it for me. I was like, oh, I wasn't even looking forward to a new iWatch, but I'll take it. Great. So this is the 45 one. I ordered a different band because I don't want this light one, so that should come in soon. But yeah, I like the AirPod Pro, yo. Do you have it? Let me know. It is. It doesn't feel secure in my ear, so that I can say. And the the large, the large, what you call it? The squishy thing, this thing? The large one didn't fit. Ew, this is dirty. This is filthy. I can't do that. And I be cleaning my ears, though, but it's looking a little chinky. Dusty, crusty, nasty. The large one, not me picking my ears. Yo, we have to. That's just how, and then you gotta look in the nails and see if you have anything, okay? Pick them ears, because I do clean them, but that's his name. But you know, sometimes it's a little dead skin. The large one didn't really suction in like I needed it to. I mean, it's not gonna come off per se, but it does it doesn't feel like it's sucked into my ear. Whatever. So this is the small, the small suction thingy. If you have these ear pop pros, let me know how you like them, okay? How you like me now. So this place is looking more empty, especially this top area because I took the Christmas stuff away. <sighs> I feel like ordering food because I don't feel like making anything. I need to eat soon, shortly. I'm going to order my Walmart. I've been doing, yo, I've been using Walmart grocery for what, three years now? First started off a pickup and now I've been doing delivery for what, over a year now? I love it. I need to order another batch of things because stuff is running dry. So I'm going to do all those things now.
Okay, so I use Target Shipped. I use anything that's convenient, okay? And Target Shipped is something new for the kid. Love it. I got this basket. I'll link everything below if you want it. Because, ouch, my girlfriend Kim actually got me a birthday gift and she put it in this basket. I have one already. I love it. So I got another one because, oh, and I got candle holders. I love these too. I got another one because I'm going to use this as a basket to put things in oh my avocado is good to put things in as i'm making a gift basket for my guests when they come to visit you know that i'm i've made the guest room like an airbnb it's got a robe and shoes and a candle and i spray the linens with fragrance and i make it all nice and fresh i turn it down turn down service whenever someone leaves so recently my mom my sister and her children were here and i'm just gonna turn down the service again because i have to be coming in again in two weeks it makes my heart so happy and what I like to do is put a letter to whomever is coming and then goodies. So this basket is going to have the goodies in it. It's so cute. They can't take it. This is a reusable situation. All right. I need to put more stuff in here. But so far, I got it. Oh, I meant to get I meant to get two of these. Whatever. I have two bath sponges. I meant to get two of the same one. But OK, I don't think I need. Do I need to put two in here? I don't know. OK, one will be extra i have extra whatever okay i'll just put the two in here and then i have just you know like random goodies so i have advil okay oh this is my body wash that i body bath foam because i'm gonna be doing my body bubble baths excuse me i'm gonna start back on my bubble baths and i didn't i didn't have any foaming bath whatever so i got that and then, oh, I didn't get everything. I need to get more because I got these mouthwashes. But then I also, oh, I also got a spray deodorant. But there are other things like I'm going to welcome my guests with a glass of champagne. I need to put more things in here like plantain chips from Trader Joe's. We love those plantain chips. I'm going to put those in here. But this is basically a, a, ba a box in progress. Oh, one more thing. Love this Camille Rose whipped body conditioner. So thick, so amazing. I've bought six or seven of these already. This is just fantastic. So this is going to go in the guest room for any guest. And this they can take home because I can't imagine reusing body. Like, because you put your finger in this. It's not a pump. So they can take this home. Okay. And then other things are going to go in here once I get more stuff but this is loading 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 okay this is loading right now i'm gonna put this down and then be adding to it as the time goes on no stop i'm watching sophieology she's so funny and girl i'm glad you are back love it love the vibes and everything i wanted to first off oh do you know how to do this on the mac i found a video on youtube on how to do it if you want me to show you comment and let me know and it's really easy and oh i put this here recently and i'm just smelling it I can just smell something, although it's not lit. It smells so good. And I found this really small garbage can on Amazon. Love it. I put it right up here next to me as I'm getting ready with my used towel. And I throw things in here. It's easy. And then I'm, I'm always dumping it out. I always have trash, so I don't ever leave it full like that. You get what I'm saying? Okay. I'm about to do my makeup. And... I want to try out one or two of these. It's a four-in-one situation. So we're going to see how that goes. And then I have this LYS Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. I did not try it when it originally launched because I was influenced by others. And I should have tried it myself. So I'm going to try it now and see what happens. Okay. And then I also have this Triple Fix Setting Powder. This is the color Loyalty. You know that I use... Is this a setting powder? Hold on. Is this a bronzer? Okay. It's a setting powder. Okay. Well, I use the worthy one. Ooh, I'm going to phone call. I use the worthy one as my bronzer. Oh, excuse me. As my contour. What? I thought I turned this off. I can't do it. It doesn't turn off when you press this now? Oh my God. That's annoying. But I wanted to give this one a shot to see if I like the shade of this one. You know. And the worthy, the worthy, the worthy, whatever. The shade worthy is really, really dark. So I want to try this. But now that I look at it, though, this is looking like my face color. Ooh, 
abort mission. No, this is looking very face color. That's not going to work. Okay. I'm going to put this in the giveaway. There's no way. It's too light. I thought it was going to work, but it's not. It's too light. Yo, I just finished filming, right? And I'm looking at my phone. Do you watch, do you follow Church of Laughs? Yo, some of this stuff I honestly just want to ask. Is this fake? Like, did they, is this staged? Is this theatrics because this just cannot be real christian song you want some we, we just really we, really just all right christmas time it's a christmas time missing christmas time it's a christmas oh god you know you know what christmas is up now you don't want to hear all right wow well, well, let me go out let me tap up on that one now yo jesus love me this i know from my know my from my foot to me toe jesus love me this i know from me to to me to from me foot to me toe jesus love me this i know from me foot bang down me toe me say jesus oh. my youth my youth oh my my youth rhythm love me say jesus love me say from me head me say from me toe me say jesus love me say rhythm rhythm ah rhythm Yes, yes, and 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 yeah, <laughs> yo, it be the comments, yo. It be the comments. I'm more upset at the pianist. He needed to get in the rhythm. I know, like what? God, Christmas for America, that's all. Hey, get that man a beat for real. <laughs> yo, he was trying to give us shabarangs. I cannot believe that. This is too much. Ah! Yo, I gotta watch it again. We just really, really just. All right, Christmas time, it's a Christmas time, missing Christmas time, it's a Christmas. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, it was the way that the, the, the past thoughts about it came and said, excuse me, uh, please change this. Yo, <laughs> Jesus love me, this I know, from my, no, my, from my foot. He made that up. Jesus love me, this I know, from my toe, from my toe, from my foot, from my toe. Jesus love me, this I know. <laughs> I can't even see anymore. Jesus love me. Jesus love me. Yo, what what chat is this? Redeem. Redeem. Oh, redeem. Oh no. Yo, I swear sometimes I'd be feeling like, is this even real? Did was this staged or did this happen in real life and it just happened to be captured? I'm done. I cannot. I, wow. It was the rhythm for me. He's like, yo, give me a rhythm. Ah, wagwan, give me a rhythm. My youth. Ah! Yo, I can't. I don't even know if he wanted a dance hall rhythm. If he wanted a, yeah, no, I don't know if he wanted a key with a little bit of careful turn. I don't even know. Like, <laughs> first of all, the song goes, Jesus love me, yes I know, for the Bible tells me so. Isn't that what it should be? He, oh, he come over here and started doing a whole, I can't. Oh my God. And the ways about you. I, oh, I love it. You know, people often wonder if I am a Jamaican. And the thing about it is I'm not, you know. But <laughs> I grew up loving the, loving the whole, you know, saying the music. We grew up in the music. Like if you're if you from New York, you're from Rhode Island, maybe even Connecticut, Mass, I don't know. All I know is New York and I know Rhode Island. You know what I'm saying? We, we love us some reggae dancehall music. That is just the fact. So, and if you're an, if you look, if you love Afrobeats, Come on, Afro beats, dancehall, reggae. It's it's we all it's all one family. You feel what I'm saying? It's all one family. So that's just where it all comes from. You dig? I'm downloading the files from this look right here. It the lip is too dark for me, but you might be loving it. You'll see the video at some point. This lip is copper from Maybelline, I believe it is, and then. 
the lip bar savage on the outside the lip is dark excuse me the lip is dark okay let me i need to tidy up and move on to the next thing i have not eaten yet it's 141 i did work out praise his name I do want to film one more video, but then I just want to go eat and relax. So I'm going to decide that within the next few minutes. Should I just go eat and relax or should I just film this one more video and get it out of the way? I got a late start today, so that's what's messing me up a little bit. Okay. I got this pad in from Amazon. Love it because I'm going to start using this to write down what I'm grateful for and just filling all of this out. I'm going to link this below. This also just came in the mail. It is so cute. You know, I have a digital version of this, but it doesn't look nearly as as beautiful as this one does so I love that I stumbled upon it on Amazon because you know Amazon be doing giving you recommendation recommendations and how they had it. it was so cute they had different colors so every item you wanted to track had a different color and then it had a dot on each of the days it was just so beautiful how it looked once the month was full and of course if you do all of the things and then weekly habits it's just cool so this is one one sheet per month i'm not gonna hang this anywhere i'm simply going to keep this on my desk or on my table love it exercise for 20 minutes every day anyway so yeah i love this oops i'm gonna link it below as well i just love the whole aesthetic of it all and then i ran out of my lashes from aliexpress so i ordered some more it's going to take a while to get here i just fell off i usually have a stock so i ordered these and i used to love these from miss 3d and now i'm looking at them like these are a lot shorter than what i like now i like my lashes to be long the density is great they're just shorter in length but that's from looking at it in here i might feel differently when i put them on we gonna see so i got four of these to hold me over <clears throat> for the next few weeks as i wait on my aliexpress order so let's see i hope it comes in faster because i need my lashes i just love my usuals you know i'm cleaning the linens in my guest room again because it's time and i love this new clock that i found on amazon so check this out time and temperature outside which is perfect although my watch tells me that it's 66 and this is saying 70 whatever it just gives you a good gist at least and what i love is that it's a charger it's a wireless charger oh my god did you hear that so it can charge in the back with your actual phone chargers but then obviously it's a wireless charger oh my goodness i need this for my i need this for my room <laughs> I love this so much it is so cute link in this below in case you want it Ew. and of course the lamp and i'll show you the room once i set it all together after i do all the, the laundry which is on the floor oh and did i show you this from target i don't remember but i ended up putting it here oh ignore this i just put that there i ended up putting it here in the entryway i'm not sure if i showed this to you and this candle is from versed a skincare company and it smells so good and so i'm burning that right here opened up some boxes from amazon oh let me show you these oh, he was helping me he forgot to do this this but these go in here ouch i just hurt myself jesus okay i got this let me go in the kitchen and show you all right so this is the whole kit that i got from amazon i love it everything is white now <laughs> I am concerned once I start cooking, like with this, you know what I'm saying, the oils and stuff, what it's going to look like, but we're going to just give it a shot because really, obviously, it's for the, oops, it's for the aesthetics, you feel what I'm saying, but I do want to give it a shot. I don't keep my utensils out on my counter, but these look so cute that they just need to be on the counter. <laughs> Not only that. Is this, is this supposed to be open? I don't know. Not only that, I'm so sick and tired of wrestling through drawers to try to find certain things. So I'm going to put this on a counter as long as they look cute, which is right now while they're brand new. So I'm going to donate the ones that I have right now that just don't match my aesthetic. You heard? <laughs>
living room update Christmas tree is gone. We don't have anything in this corner, so it's back to being neutral. Also, the TV is finally mounted. I don't know what took me so long. I don't know why I was so hesitant. I was just nervous. Had somebody come and put that there and then on the bottom and it just connects into the wall. I actually used the same contractor that Cindy, I almost said Sydney, Cindy, beautiful, beautifully Cindy uses here on IG. This needs to be changed. I need a new TV console. This is the old one. Obviously doesn't match the table and the new decor, but I just love how now the cords are hidden. I don't know. It took me a lot. It's annoying. Couch needs to be touched up. So, you know, this stuff comes from pants rubbing on it but thank god i have the oh my gosh the music oh okay let's talk fast thank god i have the fabric shaver i'm gonna shave this it's gonna be brand new and then i'm going to give the couch a wash looking at it you're not gonna see any in that random towel you're not gonna what is this this is a stain isla was here my knees stepping on things it's just random little little blemishes stains nothing tremendously horrible on here but certainly the little ballies and things that need to go so that's the couch update there and yeah i'm excited about it it's gonna be nice and clean i need to finish doing some updates i'm gonna get rid of this stuff in the back that's an old grill that needs to go these orange chairs i've had for ages need to go as well I want an outside patio set, although you know how I am. I get annoyed with filth. So <laughs> I'm just, I have an issue with leaving it out there, it getting dirty, and then me going to sit on it. I don't know how I'm going to maintain the cleanliness. I'm going to just have to figure that out or go without. This is the bag that I have the Christmas tree in. I've had this for a while. I believe it was Amazon. I'm not sure. So I'm going to put this in the garage. Marks a psychiatrist and I make mental health education videos. Today I'm talking about emotional programming, what it looks like and what it does to your thinking. Your early life experiences with your parents, siblings, and other people in your life leave an imprint on you that carries over into your adult life. No one's life is perfect because we're all imperfect people and make mistakes. We say the wrong things, don't do enough of the right things, etc. So the imprint that you're left with is a mixture of positive and negative experiences. If you have enough positive experiences to fill your emotional cup, you can process the negative experiences and compartmentalize them in a way that they don't dictate every aspect of your adult life. The negative experiences have their place. It's not like you can't remember them, but you're able to shake them off and keep moving. If the sum total of your experiences were negative or you had some early traumatic experiences that disrupted your emotional development, your imprint becomes predominantly negative and affects the, the way that you interact in the present day. So instead of having an emotional cup that's full most of the time or is easy to refill, you have a hole in the bottom of your cup and you can't keep it full and it keeps getting depleted. Mm. So how does this affect your thoughts and outlook on the world? You develop what's called maladaptive schema in dialectical behavior therapy terms, but I'm gonna call it negative emotional programming mm -hmm. that creates these distorted stories that you tell yourself. These stories keep building and strengthening when your emotional cup gets depleted and you're working hard to fill it back up. So here are six types of negative stories that you can come to believe and let guide your behavior. Number one is the abandonment story. This tends to develop from early experiences with people who were cold, distant, or critical. And likewise, you tend to end up in relationships with a similar dynamic with people who are treating you similarly. With this story, you say things like, people don't really care about me. No matter how good things seem, it never lasts. I'm destined to end up alone. I worry about people I care about leaving or dying. Ways to deconstruct and think through this is to ask yourself, 
Do you have unrealistic expectations of how relationships should be? In what ways could you practice being vulnerable so that you can open yourself up to experiencing more joy in relationships? How can you focus on developing more trust in a relationship? Because of your early experience, your reflexive reaction is to close down and protect yourself from being hurt. So to work past that, you have to allow yourself to be more vulnerable. And what does that look like? I talk about being more emotionally vulnerable in relationships in this video on using conversation to create intimacy and combat loneliness. Next is the dependent story. You can develop this story from early experiences of being overprotected in a way that didn't allow you to take appropriate risks and learn from your mistakes. If you were blocked from making your own decisions and not being allowed to fall down, you don't learn how to stand back up and be resilient. So you can say things like, I can't cope with being alone. I can't trust my own judgment. I need someone to take care of me and to make me happy. Hmm. Life is too overwhelming to cope with on my own. To deconstruct this, ask yourself, what are some small ways that you can challenge yourself to do something outside of your comfort zone? How can you gradually build up taking on more responsibilities? What can you do to enjoy your solitude more? Yeah. You need to learn to be more comfortable with yourself yep. so that you can be able to soothe yourself yes. and break away from this pattern of being too dependent on someone else to yeah. meet your needs. Yep. Yep. Number yep. three is the unworthy story. You can develop this kind of thinking if you felt the standards you had to meet were so high that you could never measure up. Wow. Or if you felt constantly criticized or compared to others. Some of the things that you may say to yourself are, I'm flawed, I'm unlovable, I'm damaged, I'm less than. Ways to deconstruct and to think through this are to ask yourself, whose voices do you hear when you say these things to yourself? If you didn't hear someone say this, what scenario do you envision where you were left feeling this way? For example, a parent pushing you to always do better can leave you feeling like you're not good enough. Yeah. Once you recognize whose voice this represents, think about how that voice was really an expression of their own issues. Mm. So you have a flawed person leaving an imprint on you of being flawed. Come on. Once you make that connection, you can start the process of tearing down the facade. Yep. If you saw the movie The Truman Show, it was about a man who was raised on television in a television studio mm. and his entire life was staged. That's how you can see the negative emotional programming that you live with. The negative things that you believe about yourself are based on other negative beliefs that someone else passed on to you. Yep. And by the way, this is not always about your parents. Children can do a lot of damage to other children. It can also perpetuate an insecurity that you have about yourself. Mm. The next story you can tell yourself is the disconnection story. This could develop from having insecurities about yourself, not having your feelings validated, but it can also be a part of your personality style, just not to be very open with people. Behaviorally, this can look like keeping yourself at an arm's distance mm. in relationships to avoid opening up to people. Or you can distance yourself by focusing on people's flaws and exaggerating the differences between you and them. Some of the things that you say to yourself are, no one understands me. Mm. I rarely feel close to people. I feel like there's an invisible barrier between me and other people. As you try to deconstruct this story, think of ways that this story helps protect you from being hurt by others. What small step can you take? Yo, if this stuff is not good, I don't know what is. You know what I'm saying? You know me. I'm all about the edification of self. And Dr. Tracy Marks is just blessing my heart every single time I listen to her videos. I'm like, what? Uh, so good. Need this. Great. So, you know, just blessing y'all with that, too, because it's important. I always say all of this stuff is cute. You know, we get dressed, we go shopping, we travel. It's fantastic. I enjoy it. I am forever grateful. But we got to get the 
we gotta get the self together too you feel what i'm saying this is good apple bomb still in love with this but well, we gotta get i'm going fast because i'm oh nothing's all dark i can't uh, so annoying my lighting is all messed up i have my blinds closed because you know how it gets oh my god this is so bad you know how the sun be blaring in here in the morning this looks terrible all right let's just finish listening to dr tracy marks i can't do this the fifth story is the mistrust story this story can develop from a deep-seated belief that there's no one looking out for your best interest. And this can come from a traumatic experience or even neglect. In this case, the neglect doesn't have to be from your parents leaving you on the front doorstep without food. This can be from a selfish parent who's always disappointed you or ignored you. Behaviorally, this can look like having relationships where you question the person's loyalty. Or it can look like repeated relationships yeah, where you that. tolerate unacceptable behavior oh, from the person. I've seen that. Yeah, and then yeah. these exploitative relationships reinforce your mistrust of people. Mm. Some of the things that you say to yourself are most people will use or hurt you. Mm. You need to stay on guard to protect yourself. People only want to get something out of it. Mm. To deconstruct this story, think about how much pessimistic thinking plays into the story. Pessimistic thinking is where your mind focuses on the negative and hardly acknowledges the positive. Yeah. Think about things that people have done that show that they are trustworthy, that you overlooked or didn't acknowledge. It could be something very small, like following through on something that they said that they would do or showing up on time. Also, are you reacting to a present situation as if you were in the past? In other words, are you holding on to things that someone else did, assuming that everyone is going to do the same thing or treat you the same way? When you do that, you're not judging the current person on the merits of their behavior. The last story is the failure story. And there's lots of reasons you can believe this about yourself. You could have had a series of failures or inadequacies that weren't balanced by an appropriate level of validation. If you fail enough, you can start to believe that you'll always fail. Behaviorally, this can look like passing on opportunities because you're afraid to fail. Yeah. Or you can create a self-fulfilling prophecy by giving it a low effort or sabotaging your efforts so mm. that you do end up failing. Wow. Some of the things that you can say to yourself are, there's no point in trying because I'm just going to fail. Oh, my God. I never seem to get things right. What if people realize I'm not as good as they think I am? Uh, is that that imposter syndrome stuff? Oh, my Lord. Is to think about what you would say to a friend mm -hmm. if they were in your situation. Mm -hmm. Would you tell them not to try? Or would you help your friend see the benefit of giving it a chance? Another yeah. thing that you can think about is whose voice are you hearing? Yep. That voice may not have said the same thing that you're saying to yourself, but the person may have made you feel as though... There was no point in trusting you to do something because you don't do things very well or you never follow through with things. There's a difference between being mediocre when it comes to achievements and having a basic belief that you're a failure at most things. Wow. If you have enough self-esteem, you will be able to fail more than once without those failures becoming your identity. Yep, that's true. Your reaction to failure shapes your long-term outlook. Wow. If you tend to over-focus on negative aspects of things or tend to have black and white thinking, mm. you are more prone to internalize the failures. Uh -oh. Do any of these negative stories resonate with you? Yes. <laughs> you can break past your emotional programming. Come on. The first step is recognizing these patterns. Yep. And a useful way to work on deconstructing the thoughts is to write down things in a journal. That also allows you to get out your raw thoughts and then fine tune them later. True. An important thing to remember here, though, is emotional reasoning drives many of these stories. Mm. Emotional reasoning is a thinking pattern called a cognitive distortion where your mind tells you that your emotions reflect reality. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though your emotions can inform you Smiles about the situation reality. and okay. how you should respond, fine. they're not always reliable. Okay, fine. Examples of emotional reasoning are, 
I feel scared, so I must be in danger. Mm. Or I feel guilty. But that so doesn't I must always mean danger. Is that what you're saying, Doctor? Free floating emotions that pop into your mind mm -hmm. triggered by an unconscious thought based on something from the past. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, you can misinterpret your current situation yeah. based on an emotion that's unrelated. Okay, we'll just so say that. Another way to process some of these negative stories is to engage in self soothing activities so that you mm. can generate some positive emotions. Mm -hmm. The positive emotions may help you stop ruminating on your negative story. Okay. A couple of examples of coping statements are my past doesn't define me. Come on. My emotion does not reflect my reality. Mm. Whatever happens, I'll handle it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to this. Thanks for making it this far. Wow. You probably need to rewatch this video to get more out of it. And I'll do a follow up video. In Don't the worry, doctor. I'm going to rewatch it. Don't worry, okay? I'm going to rewatch it. Yo, oh my God, today. Talk about. Talk about gems, you know? Talk about just amazing points and things you can't even see me <laughs> i'm so annoyed Oop, you still can't even see me can you kind of talk about amazing points you know that stuff is so true the i was actually in the shower and listening to because it was on youtube listening to her video on what ruminating thoughts everything she talks about is good okay and you know me, I'm about edifying myself and growing and understanding what's going on in the world and in myself as a person. And this stuff is so important, y'all. It's so important because we we walking around with ourselves, okay? The brokenness, the craziness, the the whatever. We walking around. You can't even see my face. This is this is strange. I gotta put y'all on tripod. We walking around with ourselves, okay? So. To me, why not understand ourselves better? Oop, forgot to set my contour. I am I am rushing right now, okay? <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of a rush. <laughs> Hi. But yeah, I believe it's very important to understand thine self, understand your friends and family, so that you're just better at relationships and better at life. Hiya. Motion detected at the front door. Hiya. Motion detected. Hiya. Who is this? That's just me. Oh, now somebody jogging. Now her getting her workout on. <laughs> Let me finish up. This is annoying. Not me coming into Target once again when I have no business coming in here. I've been in here three times in the past. How many days? It's insane. <laughs> in absolute sane. All right. So I ordered some pampas that's coming. And I'm glad I came here to see this in person. This will be so great. This is huge. So $25. Nice and tall. Oh, this is going to be, or let me do this beige color or whatever it is, because this is nice, but not, from, it's going to go in my bathroom and this will be too, what am I trying to say? Because what is this? Oh, decorative bowl. Yeah. Um, I want to go white because the pompous is tan. So it'll go with this really nicely. Very, very nice. Good. I'm glad I got this. And do I need another one of these? I don't know because I need something to put on the kitchen dining table. But I don't know what. Why is this so difficult? Why? I'm just head over heels over all these baskets that are around, but I don't need any more. Kitchen, dining table, but I don't know what to put there. Right now I have a candle, but it's not enough. It's boring. It just looks weird. It doesn't look weird. It looks whack. It looks whack. That's what it is. Um, I don't want to do whack. I want to do bomb. So, I don't know. Everything is looking. I just wanted to get a sense of it before I 
took the tags off. I think I like it. I'm gonna let it sit for a few more hours and keep looking. I don't like how this looks, the gold and the white. It's just not going for me. I'm gonna, what I plan on doing, first of all, I love this because it's a Lazy Susan, so you put the food all around and you turn it, everyone can eat, I love it. I'm gonna start doing family style meals. I don't know if I should do this by itself, this candle by itself. Obviously, I'll take the candle off when it's time to eat, but it's for decoration for right now. So should it be candle by itself? But if it's candle by itself, it just looks so boring. But then I just don't know about the gold. It just, I don't, uh, I don't know. Let me just let it, let me let it sit and then I'll think some more. I do feel like this centerpiece is missing something, like a little a little teeny, teeny flower of some sort. I'll figure that out. I got this faux eucalyptus, so I'm gonna go put this in the bathroom because this dead stuff is not moving. <laughs> This looks a lot better, okay? I did have to bend it underneath to fit inside. Now I'm gonna take these off. Yo, yo, good morning. I'm so drowsy. Me was in bed yesterday at eight something, and I was already mad tired because I had gotten up at four and I had a full day, right? And you would have thought that when he was in bed, I'll go to bed because I was actually falling asleep on the couch, but no. Then I ended up on IG. Then I ended up watching IG live. Then I ended up watching YouTube videos. And it's like, oh my God. And then I was like, well, he needs to go potty in a little bit. So let me just stay awake and then take him potty. And then I'll go to bed. Well, that was 10 something. And I am very tired today. I could not wake up. He was the one waking me up and I was so tired. And every time that I don't wake up early and I wake up, I wake up early, comma, I wake up tired, groggy, unhappy short short fuse have a short fuse all that i did though manage to do my devotion which was on the bible app app yeah the bible app on the phone i didn't get to do my bible study i started to write down my to-do list that i didn't finish i had to go get ready and taking this me to school and now i'm sitting here like oh my god so i made my coffee because that's part of my routine the warmth it tastes good and i need to wait to work out but i don't have time i have a hair appointment at 10 and i'm gonna leave home soon to go so now i'm like okay well no workout because there's no way i'm doing it when i get back mm -mm. you gotta know when you're most energized and when you perform best and for me it's the morning time so there's that i am excited to get my hair silk pressed again you know i love the silk press i love my curls look even after it it's all fun to me it's an it's an experience i'm going to somebody different today trying trying out new people because why not it's my money and what else i do need to get something from home goods my rug Oh, my washing machine it leaves this yellow stain on white stuff sometimes it gets on my everlasting nerve i want to get a new washing machine we've had this one for six six years it's been a while i don't there's some kind of area in the washing machine that needs to be cleaned out i don't know where it is or how to do it so my husband does it and he just needs to do it again that thing it stained up my rug basically the new rug that i put the new two rugs that i put in the bathroom i washed both of them for the first time and one of them got stained up it looks like urine it's not i don't know if it's just gunk from the washing machine that just whatever girl so anyway i'm gonna go buy a new one of those rugs at home goods and I, yeah, I mean, ideally, I would come home and film with my fresh reel, fresh reel. My, my hands are, oh, my hands are ashy. There's <laughs> a lot going on. Ideally, I would come home and film with my fresh, make sure my mic is off, so press. And in my heart is what I want to do. But right now, as I sit here, I can't even commit to that because I feel tired. Now, in three hours, I shouldn't still feel tired, right? You would think. Hmm. Hopefully, I've woken up by then. I feel groggy right here. You know, when you don't sleep, you just feel groggy, tight, tight forehead, and that's how I feel. So, that's ideally what I want to do. But honestly, tomorrow's my day off of no, no working. And I'm thinking now I'm doing my hair. I might as well just have a day off today, too. We'll see, girl. Yeah. Yeah, it's just gonna be a day off. Let's just kill. Let's just call it what it is. Let's just let's call it, go ahead and call it what it is. Let's not even go around it. I'm just not gonna want to do that when I come back. So yeah, I'm gonna take my book Crazy Faith with me to the hair salon. Usually, I listen to something or watch something. Remember, part of my goal is to read more this year. In fact, I have on my habit tracker. Did I show it to you? I showed you right. I have on my habit tracker reading five pages a day. Now I thought that that would be a lot, but it's not. When you're really into it. 
for instance, yesterday morning, I was able to read five pages because this is a very easy read. It's very conversational. So I was just going and going and going. And I'm like, oh, I already, I could do a chapter a day if I gave this the dedication that it requires. So I wanted to commit to a chapter, but I wanted to make my goal attain realistic. I'm thinking of smart goals. So I wanted to make sure that my goal was realistic. So I'm not going to realistically be able to read a chapter every day based on what I do, but five, five pages for sure. If not in the morning, definitely before I go to bed. So that's my goal. And I'm going to take this book with me so that I don't spend my time watching the YouTube video when I could be, which is important too, staying abreast, learning. And like you saw Dr. Tracy Marks, all kinds of stuff on YouTube, you know, good stuff, trash, of course, but I like to stick with the good stuff. And sometimes some, a little bit of trash every now and then. I, mean, I can't lie about that, okay? But I'm going to take this because I want to read. And, oh, I rearranged my studio a little bit. I'm going to do an updated studio tour. I just needed to clean things up. I just hate it feeling just like, ugh. So I put some stuff in that basket over there to take it out from underneath the table so that it doesn't just look so cluttered under the table. Then I moved my mirror right here. And I put that ottoman here. And I put my to-do list there. That ottoman was here, remember? But I could never walk over here if I needed to, to get anything from my rack. This needs to be arranged more nicely, obviously. And that's it. This is all still the same. And I haven't even opened up my Hermes box to show you what it is. Girl, you know, anyway, so I'll get to it. But yeah, I'm going to leave in a little bit. So right now I'm just I don't want to say killing time because time is precious so why would I just be sitting here killing time that's dumb oh that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go I gotta go to the post office on my way to go do my hair because yesterday I was supposed to go and I didn't feel like it <laughs> the stuff is in my trunk I just did not feel like stopping at the post office I wasn't into it so I'm gonna go do that and then I had to go do my hair it's a long drive so there's that. I'm really sleepy. On the day where Nini has to wake me up, I'm just like, oh my god. It's pushing me. Mommy, get up, wake up, all this. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? I'm so tired. It's not It's not the most yeah. ideal situation, but that's what happened today. Anyway, all right, girl. Okay. Not me editing. <laughs> it's better than that. And not people... 24 minutes in and I have an hour and 42 minutes worth of footage here. This is the vlog. Mind you, I how are you enjoying the videos? You know, are you catching all of them? I'm putting a lot of work and effort into these videos. I hope that you're watching all three, okay? All three videos every week, except this week. <laughs> What's today, Thursday? <gasps> I gotta schedule a video for today. What's his name? Oh my god, see? Usually I'm ahead. Usually I really am ahead with with it already scheduled but with the break and I took time off I don't have it as tightly organized as I normally do I needed the break and I enjoyed it you know I have the videos I just need to skip oh okay I have one ready okay I was looking like what, what video is this okay I already have one scheduled okay good that gives me the weekend to catch up and then schedule out okay good, good. or should I rearrange I should rearrange the video. <laughs> oh dear God, I don't even know. Listen, I just threw this on. I already wore this earlier in the week and I threw it on. Oh, whatever, I'm just gonna wear it today. Listen, when you're home, it's just so easy to just wear the same things. Like, what's going on? Where am I going? Anyway, where am I going? Where? Why? You know? <laughs> Together. We had to do a cut. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? I'm sure folks are going to want to come in and see you. Look at my hair all on the floor. Yeah. Okay. Let's say hi. First of all, I don't even know if I got your first name. Tell me. Ebony. This is Ebony. I am Ebony with Enhancing Beauty 247. I'm um, located on the north side of Houston near the airport and I am a silk press master. Honey. Hello. And you've you done this before, see. obviously, girl. You got the whole spiel <laughs> down. I love to hear it, okay? Now, I came here because of From Head to Curve. 
If you don't follow her, make sure you follow her. You want a silk press, come to your girl. Yeah. Her shop is beautiful. Get you some. Don't bring your bad kids. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, don't I'm bring your bad kids. <laughs> I'm being serious. Don't bring your man. Don't yes. bring the entourage. Don't bring the entourage. Come, yeah. come alone, okay? Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes, exactly. We had a good conversation. Oh my gosh. So, obviously I had to get... I would consider it to be a lot. You might not consider it to be a lot, but... I had to get a good amount cut off, which is fine. It was needed. I didn't know that the back of my hair looked like that. So having her uh, blow dry it and then take the picture and show me, yeah, they got a snack shop in here. Wow. Gave me a, a very good visual to see like, oh, whoa, okay. Yeah, all of this does need to come off. So I'm glad I got this haircut. I did not know <laughs> that all of that hair was dead or split or well, not dead split i don't know i did not know that i had all that hair thin behind me so it's one thing to have length but it's another for the length to be healthy and thankfully i'm not married to my hair so i don't feel like oh my god i need to keep my length i don't care what it looks like i don't subscribe to that you're not gonna open I know you're not gonna do this to me. Oh my god. My car door normally opens up automatically when my key is next to the door, but it's not opening right now. What the heck? Anyway, I'd rather my hair be healthy than to be scraggly at the end, like it <laughs> clearly has been. And I had a I had a trim the last well first time I had a silk press. So I don't understand. Was it a trim or was it not a trim? Like, what's going on? Whew, I did the side part this time because I used to live in a side part. She didn't lay down my edges. She didn't want to put the product on it, which I can respect. Like, I'm fine with that. I could have asked her to do it, but honestly, the product on the edges sometimes gets on my nerves. It'd be all just dumb looking, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway. Whew, look at my, dang, look at my iced coffee. It looks real stupid. <laughs> Then I learned that when I work out, I'm not supposed to wrap my hair. What in the world? I did not know that. Y'all did not tell me that. <laughs> Woo! Did you know that? I did not know that. So I'm supposed to put it in a loose ponytail because I did notice when my hair was in a ponytail, when I had already laid it up into the ponytail, like, you know, like laid it down into the ponytail when my hair was already oily. I did notice that it, like, the ponytail hair itself looked really good still. So my hair, I was like, should I be doing this always? But I never took it as something to make, like, I didn't take it as something to make it set in stone. But now I know. Ponytail when I work out, not the wrap. Take it out the ponytail, work out. My face was dry from the mask. And then, hello? And then wrap it and all this other stuff okay anyhow let me put my ad oh, my address in so i can go home Hello. hey mommy turn right on hey. hey, hi great <laughs> reminding me of when I was relaxed baby you know even though I got the cuts it still got the length and you know me I'm not married to my hair so I'm okay with a cut you see my hair has been cut several times in my life like chopped off cut so it's hair and it's fun to me I like the personality that my hair now has because of the layers it's bouncy it's not just straight like it used to be okay so i'm home the heat is cranked up because it's 37 degrees outside okay and that's a problem for me it's gonna be 58 later on but 37 is a problem do you understand we don't want no problems problems blah. annoyed i'm gonna make my coffee whole heavy cream and skinny syrup Ooh, uh no <laughs> i got these glass things but they're not for they're not for hot beverages they're for cold beverages and you know those so it's the beer can glass and then i ordered the ice ball maker it's a 
it's an ice tray that makes ice balls oh dear god yes that thing when it comes i'm gonna I'm let you know i'm gonna holla at you i'm burning you could wow this heat is high is hot is hot up in here i'm burning you oh only one is burning bless his name how did only one get burning what happened <laughs> only one of the wicks is burning that's a problem baby i'm burning eucalyptus mint you know the three wick candles are best for large spaces they the scent will travel all over but when you're dealing with jackie and the candles baby even one wick is like hi oh they're not burning are they hey what is going on what you know i was on back body site again buying more candles because it's just what i do because they had a one wick for five dollar sale and i got 20 i digress so i was on the sale on the page and i was like wow there's a guarantee that says you can return a candle at any time for any reason now i don't go to stores much so i'm not about to go drag this candle over there but the other two wicks don't want to light only one is lighting that's a problem for me <laughs> imagine me like excuse me i'm not satisfied they'll take it the site says it i just don't feel like going in doing that look the other two won't light what does that mean what does that mean for the people of the world Mm, that's a problem okay well i'm gonna just leave the one i'm gonna leave the one you know i'm gonna leave the one you feel what i'm saying wow this heat is high i have the heat high and i'm feeling it it's like what i need to take my medicine because i'm starting to get itchy yo you know i have hives so every day i take an antihistamine let's get that going hang on a moment still loving my five below bottle you know the highly sought after starbucks water bottles amazon has them they're not gonna say starbucks but it's the same spiked situation this was five dollars though on amazon it's gonna cost you more i should have got two of these if i go to the, the store again i'll get i don't know we'll see whatever okay where, what what cup am i using my coffee you know i love this keurig <laughs> keurig i love this keurig oh god i love this keurig how do you say it keurig how do you say it Keurig, right? <laughs> but when I say it, it sounds funny to me because I know you're going to be like, wow. Ugh. Anyway, I love this Keurig. Oh, it's coming out the same way. I love this Keurig. I do, okay? Because you put your situations over here and then you, it'll froth, okay? Because I do have this from Amazon. So if you don't have this Keurig, I do have this and it works the, the same delicious way. It's just, this was manual and the other one's electric. Well, not electric, but not boogie, woogie, woogie. It's more, it doesn't require any effort from you, okay? So I put in my skinny syrup. Love to use these. I will link all of this stuff below, Abdi. This is mocha. I've used French vanilla. I've used, I don't like salted caramel. My husband does. He uses that. Uh, I don't know. I've been using this one for a long time. I don't use much, so this stuff does last me. Heavy whipping cream, you know, and because of keto, if it's dirty, if it's clean, if it's whatever, I don't care. I'm on keto. You feel what I'm saying? So you have all your concoction up in here. Put it in and press latte. I could press cappuccino, but I just press the same stuff every single day. You feel what I'm saying? And I do coffee because it suppresses my appetite or whatever. I like something warm. I used to do tea every single day, but I'm doing coffee instead. Mom, my arms are itching. Let this medicine kick in quickly in the name of Jesus. Woo! my skin is about to fall off it's also dryness too it's cold outside so it's like is it the hives is it the, is it the histamine that needs to be anti or is it my eczema Ooh, or what, what, what's it right now because uh, i'm itchy it'd be hard to tell sometimes you know <laughs> hi first one okay so oh and i also got this from amazon i love this you spread it out and lay it over the sink and then it's a drying rack <laughs> cute love that it has the rubber so it just stays a whatever but I, I don't have any dishes in my sink listen it's the new year i'm not trying to be leaving dishes in the sink all the time like i used to i want to be a better person in a lot of ways <laughs> and dishes in the sink ain't gonna allow me to be the man the woo not the man ain't gonna allow me to be the woman that god has called me to be i can't do that with dishes in the sink you know what i'm saying it's gonna hold me back and i don't want to be held back any more than i have been you see what i'm saying i like to sit outside it's just been neglected because it's dirty and i don't i don't do dirty you know that i don't do dirty and i have been trying to figure out 
what kind of patio set would work for me and my personality because i don't do dirty so the cushioned patio sets i wanted to get because they're cute but i'm like how do you keep that clean i don't feel like doing laundry outside we already have enough laundry in the house that we do so i was at home goods and i saw this beautiful simple black table set with six chairs i was like yes this is for me and then i got it it was such a long thing this good samaritan helped me put it bring it because it wouldn't fit in my my car my what do you call it? I don't call it a truck. My SUV? Whatever. It wouldn't fit. It's good Samaritan and help bring it to my house. Thank the Lord. There's some good people in this world. There's some good folks in this world. Praise his name. So it's back there, but there's still some junk out there. I need to literally clean the walls outside. Do you do that? Do you have a patio? Do you do that? I mean, literally, I have to use some soap and a brush and literally clean the walls. It's filthy. The door is dirty. Just ugh. And I have a water hose. Obviously, I'm going to hose it all down and then put everything out there. Put that on the center table. And then a citronella candle, of course. Well, there are no bugs, but whatever. I'll put it out there. Oh, and then I got that tabletop. That tabletop fire pit that went viral on TikTok, I got it. It's coming in today, I think, or Saturday, whatever. But it's cold today, so I'm not going to set it out today. It's just too, I'm not going out there to go wash new walls, okay? I will do it maybe tomorrow if it's nice. Whenever it's nice, I will go and do it. It'll be maybe a two-hour job, but we'll get it done. So, oh, there it is. My foam is ready to be poured on top of my coffee. My mom would say, coffee. <laughs> Ah, so that's what's going to go on in the back. I want to get an outdoor patio rug, but you know me, the dirt. It's like, ew, is that thing going to accumulate dirt? And then what do I do when it has accumulated dirt? Like, that's gross, you know? I get, ugh, I get so grossed out by just things like that. So, like, I'm not going to buy a $100 rug and be throwing it out every three months, but... Like, ew, I know brush, I almost said vacuuming. I'm not going to put vacuum outside. Brushing it with a broom. The broom that's outside is even filthy. Like, I just don't touch. Oh, God, I get, ugh. The broom outside, it stays outside. There's an outside broom. It doesn't come in the house. And there were times this last year, he's like, bringing it inside. I'm like, excuse me, that's the outside broom. Please, yeah, Pacho, we don't bring that in the house. In fact, in the house, we vacuum. We don't, we don't, we don't sweep in the house. But I just don't know. Like, you sweep. You sweep the outside patio rug. That's a lot of words. Just rug. You sweep the rug, but it's still dirty. See, because the, the 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 cement, I can rinse with the hose, but you're not gonna rinse a rug. But then the rug will make it more comfy. Because I can see myself having doing my coffee out there, or even us having lunch out there, dinner, whatever. It's just. I need to figure this out. The rug will make it look really pretty. I just get grossed out about, ooh, what if there's dead ants up in here? Like, my, my feet are touching this dead ant, you know? Uh, I'm just that person. Okay. Alrighty. Yo, let me show you this Bluetooth block rocker speaker that I have. We have two of these, actually. They're really, really good. They go loud. I don't often play loud music in the house because I have Alexa going all day, every day. But... <laughs> Depending on what the mood is, you having a party, or you just want to rock out at your house, this speaker is loud. So I'm gonna play a song from my phone. Okay, 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 I'm ready to go out. These are my two fragrances, Replica Jazz Club and By the Fireplace. I mixed the two of these together. And then my outfit, I actually just did a reel. This is my outfit, I'm just wearing something casual. I be feeling like I have nothing to wear and I be forgetting I have certain things. So here we go. I feel like I should put my hair up, but then again, it's a fresh blowout. You know what I'm saying? So I want this to still look cute. So I didn't work out. I want my hair to look cute. Okay. I'll work out tomorrow or Sunday. We'll see. But and on to the outfit. Just a little something simple. You know what I'm saying? Not big. I'm about to have therapy. I'm going to have therapy in the car because I need to make my way to the location so that I'm not late. <laughs> Cause lunch is at one with Marie and therapy is right now. So let's go in the car. Where are you? It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? 
any day. So I just sat there with me, me and I way. took the liberty of driving to the Galleria while I was on my therapy call because, like I said, I'm meeting with Maria at one for lunch. And she and I met three years ago on, on social, and I we just started hanging out and we, I, we see each other once in a while. Not a lot. Houston's big. People live far away and people are busy, okay? But anyway, I'm meeting with her in 30 minutes. So I'm here early. I could have left later on, but I just decided to get in the car anyway. So I got a coffee because it's hot. It's cold outside. It's 47 degrees. Got my trench on or whatever. <laughs> I don't need... I, I would love to... Oh, I don't have time. I was going to say, I would love to go to Zara, but I don't have time to go to the mall. And I need to pick up any meat from school. So after we eat, we're not going to have mall time. And we're eating in the mall. Can I do Zara fast? Maybe I should. If we don't take too much time eating, maybe she and I can do Zara really fast. I'll ask her what she's thinking. I do not go to stores. I shop online because it's easier. But maybe we can go in there quickly. I hear you can't try things on, but I want to get some blazers. I they need to fit my arms. I have a wide back and arms. Like, what is this? Okay, let me book my next session. I still use better help, praise the Lord. And I know I need to choose the oh, stop it. The winner of the free month of counseling. I just wanted to give time for people to watch the video. So I'm still gonna do that. I'm not gonna forget about that. And I'll pin the person I choose. Well, should I? Out of privacy. But if you commented. You're not looking for privacy. I like to respect people's privacy, but I want to pin it so you know. Okay, what I'll do is, instead of pinning the person's comments, so you know who I chose, I'll just pin a comment from me saying that winner has been chosen. Let's do that, I'll do that. I like to help people stay private. I'm in front of a container store. And many, many years ago, when I was without child and working as a makeup artist and taking campaigns but it was very i mean i didn't know what i was doing baby girl i was getting paid pennies okay compared to what i get paid right now praise the lord i had come to container store to do a gig where we were doing they call them demos where you just do one or two things on somebody so we were doing lashes and it was actually me and ash k home ash k i worked as a freelance at mac ash k home was a full-time mac work mac employee yeah, Mac artist. She and I were here. It was about three hours. And I actually, actually, I was pregnant. I remember because I remember feeling kind of like, oh, I want to go home. And then, and then I remember like we had to stand the whole time. And I was like, dang, this standing is real uh, something. And we had to bring our own makeup kit, which was problematic for me. This is obviously pre-COVID. And then we were just putting on lashes. Yes, it was to promote their the simple human i'm getting all the details as i speak it was to promote the simple human mirror and they actually gifted one to me and i gave it away a few years ago i didn't need it, it was a very magnified mirror very nice very pricey mirror yep so we were at the simple human section doing lashes on people oh my gosh i remember that it was right here katina store galleria i'm parked right in front of it okay i need to log into better help so i can schedule my next appointment my next therapy session with my therapist not even trying to get the very last part of this blunt it's mad small and this man is standing here lighting it up sir that blunt is finished that's what i did that one time <laughs> that one time band camp and i had on nails and i was trying to get the very very last piece of was it a black and mile it wasn't a blunt it was a black and mile ages ago okay ages ago and then it burned my f nail no was it a blunt oh my god it must have been that time i had that boyfriend that was selling listen uh praise the lord okay anyway yes it was a blunt oh dear god we were in the car and i was trying to get the last 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 look how he's walking and then it, it burned my nail it melted my nail and then somebody a friend of mine one day was like yo what happened to your nail you smoke i was like no she's like oh because your nail looks like it was burned from the from a blunt that has happened to me before so it looked familiar and i was like oh no i don't smoke <laughs> problems girl Yes, I lied about it. I could not. Mm, my God, today. I don't have any service. What one? What y'all mean? Why not? Why, why I don't have any service? Yo, remember that? Remember that video? Be uh. Hey, what's the name? Hey. Ah. Hey.
Okay, valet is $12, and you know me, I love a good valet, okay? I like convenience, praise the Lord. What does this say? Alexander, the Webster. There's a brand called The Fear of God. Interesting. Cash only, what do they mean? Okay, I'm loving the vibes in here. First of all, the restroom is a little, not a little, it's a very personal place like an airplane. Think of an airplane that is expensive and then you have your own little personal situation. Wow, come on restroom. This place is a vibe, okay? Oh, I gotta come here often, baby. <laughs> Love it. I'm gonna do my little tinkle before she get here. The champagne, not her being I'm available here. and stuff. I'm in the street. Why you in these jeans? <laughs> you in a big mood, honey. <laughs> oh, is that what they said? You want no? I, I just said that. Said? No. I'm in a big mood. Yeah. Get out of the feel you. Jesus, what do you think he said? I'm in a big. What, what could it be? Give me any any other alternative. A. What could that be? Well, now that I know it. I'm oh God! It what, 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 what do you think it was? I'm in the Okay, e ooh, come on, girl. I'm in a big mood. This song is called Mood. Girl, this song is literally called things. Mood. One thing about me, I don't be knowing. Girl, I need you to know that at least. I'm Marie out here playing mood. games. We went I'm to in that a big concert. Mood. It was so. And amazing. you didn't even know the lyrics. No, I don't. I cannot. I became a fan after the concert. Girl, not being chilly out here. God of mercy, what is going on? Even the guy is shivering. <laughs> here comes the whip or whatever. Yes, I did the twenty percent. It was like seven dollars. Who is the money twelve going to? I'm telling you, I did. I think I did three dollars. I don't know. Whatever. Anything is good, girl. You're so funny. Oh, yeah, because you know so all of it. <laughs> it was so good seeing you. I know. Okay, I'm gonna holler at you next week. My all right. Baby. Yes, girl. All right. Okay. <sighs> oh, that was so fun. <sighs> Not me running late to go pick up Nene from school. Oh my. That was so much fun. <laughs> Joey Houston is so nice. So nice. I love that place. We have to come back for Sheezy. For Sheezy. Uh, the vibes are so great. The champagne was flowing. She said that when she came some time ago, they didn't keep refilling her champagne. And I'm just like, maybe it was because you were with me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just being annoying. But um, they kept refilling the champagne, baby. And I'm just like, not on a, not on a Friday afternoon or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I need to get home and pick up this little baby boy. I can't do it. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Okay, it's going down. Lots of food. Maybe cleaning and organizing going on i told you about the table i got from home goods and we are about to clean up the patio and put this thing together let me show you what it looks like right now it's very very nasty this is just a peek through the door wretched okay we're gonna clean the floor just all the things that's the new table we're gonna get it all all you know let's just work on this right now
Okay, so I bought a, a tabletop fire pit. You'll see it. It hasn't come yet. So I'm preparing this tray because we're going to do s'mores. We're also going to do little weenies. So they're in the fridge right now. And then I have these steaks. You saw them. We're going to stick them in and burn the weenies outside. The outside looks so nice so far. I need to clean my floor because from walking in and out, it looks terrible. And uh, we did some cleaning out here, okay? Here's how it looks so far. Isn't it so cute? The cement looks a whole lot better. I'm gonna pull it more this way, but it's gonna be such a cute place to have lunch, dinner, just all the things, okay? Yeah, so as we await Amazon to deliver our fire pit that's gonna go on the table, let me show you, because I'm not sure if I showed you this earlier this week, but let me show you some things that I re-upped on from Sephora. I got two of these Shiseido SPFs because it's just the easiest way to apply SPF. Clear, It's it looks like a deodorant. Rub it on your face. You've been here for a while. You know that that is something that I love to use. And my husband's always taking mine because it's easy for him to apply it to. And first of all, my hair is a little frizzy from yesterday. It's 70, rainy, and humid. So here we have it. And then I bought this. I actually had this in a bunch of other gift sets from Sol de Janeiro, from a partnership that I did over the holiday. And I loved it so much that I gave myself this in my... <laughs> stocking as a stocking stuffer to myself baby we opened up christmas gifts and slossy was like oh i like that let me have it i was like what and mom was like yeah just give it to him you're gonna get more i'm like that's not the point it's not about me getting more i wanted it <laughs> but it was fine i gave it to him and i just bought another one it's a two pack this is the hand cream and hand sanitizer what i love is it has this the same chirosa 62 scent and my god today let me try it Ugh. You know, man, it's the scent for me, you know? Yes, ma'am. 80% alcohol, so we love that. And then, it's light. It's a light scent. It's not very strong. It's not strong like the push ones from Bath and Body. So, the scent isn't overpowering in a good way like the Bath and Body ones are. And then we have the hand cream, so I'm going to put this... Girl, I have so many things. I literally have enough stuff to put the same products in all my bags. What I mean is this, when I change my bags, I don't have to take everything out of one and put it into the other. I have enough to go leave it in this bag, leave it in that bag, leave it in that bag, and then when I need it, the bag already has what I need. All I gotta put and change is the key and my phone and well, my earpiece. <laughs> It's crazy how much stuff I have. My best say, am I a hunya my daughter? And it's true, we have a lot of stuff. My God, today. So this is stash. I'm gonna put this on stash because when I wanted to re up on it some months ago, I couldn't. It was sold out. I was like, what? So I'm glad I got two now. I need to do my nails. I took them off in the car yesterday. I was just over it. And my, ew, not my cuticles or, you know, the skin above the nail. Not it being all chewed up and just peeling. I need to put some on it. I'm going to use this First A Beauty Oat Hemp Salve. It's thick and rich. But yeah, I'm waiting on them to come. We're going to go set it up in the bag and do. Me will have s'mores. I will have the little weenies. I, I don't, I'm not doing barbecue because I'm not a barbecue flavored fan anyway, but I'll just put some hot sauce in a little bowl and dip my weenies in the hot sauce. And I'm sure when you knew, just have his by itself. So let's go do that. Mm -hmm.